top diplomats from the U.S., EU, Russia, and Ukraine reached an agreement on immediate steps to de-escalate the crisis in Ukraine after marathon talks on Thursday. Jack Barton filed this report from Geneva. The four-party negotiations lasted more than seven hours. But in the end, a tentative agreement was struck that could ease Ukraine's crisis and avert deeper sanctions targeting Russia. All illegal armed groups must be disarmed, and all illegally occupied buildings must be returned to the legitimate owners. All occupied streets, squares, and other public spaces in all cities in Ukraine must be liberated. There must be an amnesty for all protesters, except for those found guilty of a capital offense. That agreement covers Kiev's Maidan protest camp, as well as buildings occupied by pro-Russia militants in the east. It was also agreed that Europe's Organization of Security and Cooperation would essentially play peacekeepers. They undertake a special role in assisting Ukrainian authorities and local communities in the immediate implementation of the de-escalation measures. In return, Moscow received guarantees of constitutional reform to protect ethnic Russians. Russia's foreign minister was assured by his Ukrainian counterpart that Ukraine's troubled eastern region would be granted more autonomy, including the right to elect local governments as well as have control over budgets and the education system. But the diplomats were quick to point out a verbal agreement is different from action that words on paper will only mean what the actions that are taken as a result of those words produce. So it is absolutely clear now that what is important is that these words are translated immediately into actions. At best, Thursday's meeting was described as the first potential steps towards a managed de-escalation. Jack Barton, CCTV, Geneva.